Hello. Today I'm going to talk about another movie that is 50 years old. And that movie is Fiddler on the Roof. Um, now this is a film that has been talked about a lot. I don't... Uh, sort of like uh, Clockwork Orange, I don't have a whole lot of new insight to this movie that hasn't been discussed before, but um, I want to kind of talk about my experiences with this movie over the years. Um, first and foremost, um, might be good to get out of the way that um, I'm not a big uh, musical fan. Um, now, uh, I mean, I do enjoy this film, so clearly I do. There are musicals I enjoy. Um, but as a whole, I'm just not a fan of musicals in general. Um, and I don't know why. Um, it just don't completely appeal to me, I guess. Uh, it's a big thing. Um, sometimes, uh, while a song, songs may be good, you know, the movie itself may be kind of meh. You know, sometimes the songs in the story of the film, sometimes they don't totally mesh well, at least not to me, sometimes, on various occasions. And so because of that, I've just not really wanted to watch a whole lot of musicals. Uh, I mean, I have watched various musicals, but I've, because of experiencing some, you know, things like that, I just, musicals have never really uh, interested me much. Um, but I I saw this when I was young. Um, you know, stories about, like, you know, you know sort of tradition, you know, the first song really sets up what the film is. Or, I guess, shows you a lot about what's sort of the situation from the beginning uh, very well and sets the, sets up the movie. Um, of course, this is based off of a play, which also was in turn based off of a series of books. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody in this movie did a great job. You know, the direction, the writing, the acting, the music, all of that's great. Um, and I think of the nominees for, like, uh, Best Actor. Um, I think Topol should have won. Um, not that Gene Hackman was bad at all, but um, if we're just going to go with nominees only and not think of anybody else who could have been nominated uh, uh, in a year, in that year, for the films of 1971, then yeah, I think Topol should have won. You know, no, Gene Hackman won for The French Connection. Um, and he did a good job, but uh, I don't know. I, I just think this is a better film um just the story is very good you know it says on the back you know tells the life-affirming story of a poor jewish milkman whose love pride and faith helped help him cope with the challenges of raising a family in zuris as to russia but i can't pronounce certain words sometimes as you all, I'm sure, know by now. But yeah, this was like pre-revolutionary Russia um, early on, and uh, it's quite it's quite interesting to, as you watch the film as it goes on, and um, you know and the struggles that uh, you see in this film. You know, you know, obviously happen to. Real people, and of course, you know, the story of in this film and the play and the books are not based on true stories, on a true story or a specific, but, you know, no doubt the events of what happened during that time inspired the uh, author of the book uh, to create these stories. And, um, and one thing that's of note of uh, with this is uh, John Williams did the music for this. He uh, adapted and orchestrated or conducted the uh, music and won his first Academy Award, the only one he has for adapted 
score. Uh, and of course, the other Oscars he received were all for the Academy Award for Best Original Score. Um, though, of course, by the time they were all there, it was dramatic and comedic and involved. And, uh, but, you know, he, you know, his music really uh, helps this film. Uh, but John Williams is a, one of those uh, composers who is a legend. Uh, he was a living legend in the, in the days of this, uh, of the 70s. Though, of course, uh, as the 70s went on with, you know, scores like Jaws and Star Wars, Superman, you know, that really affirmed John Williams as a legend. Uh, of uh, film scoring, um, film composing, and you know this was a very deserving score, or uh, an Academy Award, honestly, um, and also one for cinematography and sound. Uh, lost Best Picture and Director to. Um, uh, French Connection. Um, we may talk about that film later this year. That'll be that's 52 or will be 50 years old. Um, but this is a very good movie, um, and I kind of wanted to talk about this a bit because you know I've never really mentioned um, musicals before, and I thought this is a good one to start with. Uh, not my favorite musical, but definitely one of one of them. I would probably say top three, definitely top five, I would say, top ten. Um, but it's been a while since I've tried to rank and sort of have a list of favorites of like of musicals and such because I realize there aren't too many uh, musicals I really enjoy. Um, to the, uh, I enjoy into the fact of like of just rewatching them quite a bit. Now, of course, this is a three hour long film, so, you know, 181 minutes, so, you know, yeah, this isn't necessarily going to be one of those films that, once it's done, I'm going to rewatch it, um, no, uh, sort of like Lawrence of Arabia, you know, I love that movie, but that film's like, about like a four hour long film, um, for our experience, you know, especially with the intermission, you can, you know, pause the movie for a while, and go to the bathroom, and get more things to eat and or drink if that's what you were doing, and come back and finish the movie. Um, uh, this movie, though, you know, while not as long as Lawrence of Arabia, you know, it's, it's a movie that, you know, as it goes on, you know, you might not want to necessarily rewatch it right away because of how it gets quite emotional as the film goes on. And, you know, if, if you haven't seen it, uh, it does get very emotional uh, at times. And uh, because of that, it could be for some people, might not, it might take a while for them to rewatch it again sometime. Um, but the movie is excellent if you haven't seen it, and if you have. It's likely you already know that. Um, though, of course, there could be some people who don't like this movie, and that's fine. Um, I remember watching it as a kid and enjoying it. I was a bit surprised since I wasn't a big musical fan. But this is a well-done movie. And the acting and everything definitely helps. Um, the music also is a big component, and um, one thing I've not really thought of, except it just sort of came to me, is I'm wondering what this movie would be like if he didn't have the musical elements. Um, it probably would be just as good. Um, probably be a good film anyway, because the story is it's strong enough that it doesn't have to have the songs and the various musical cues where people sing. Um, but that does help this film. Uh, again, it's, it's adapted from a, you know, a, uh, a musical. 
uh, play. So, you know, of course, with the film adaptation, that you know, you uh, sort of uh, like a no-brainer. You're gonna uh, have the songs and everything in there too. Um, uh, not including the songs would be uh, no doubt a, an interesting experience. Could be quite different, um, but then again, even though the story is strong, and who knows, maybe it wouldn't be as good if you did not have the music, the various songs. Um, so that's another thing uh, just important to think about. Might not be as good uh, if you don't have the music. Um, the music helps uh, with the, I would say, the keeping the movie as lively as possible and the story as lively as possible. But I do think that the story itself, when watching it, it's just as strong without the... With, sort of just came to me, but yeah, I think it would be just as strong without the songs as it is with the songs. Um, um, but of course, you know, it would be quite different to see without the songs. It's like so used to people have seen this movie so many times. Uh, I'm sure a good many people have also seen the, the musical on stage. I never have. I haven't really seen many uh, plays in my life either. Um, you know, uh, sort of a circumstance of where I live as well as what sort of plays uh, are going on uh, locally that I could go to. Um, and many just don't really interest me uh, also, so that, that's also a, uh, something that has to be con taken into consideration, uh, something that interests you. And This is a movie that uh, I was fortunate enough to see when I was young, I sort of grew up watching it here and there over the years, and yeah, this is a very fine film. It's really good. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, I think it would be a good movie to... Just watch once, um, and if you're not a musical person, you know I'm not, but I enjoy it. Um, it's a fun film. Uh, at times, it's some uh, a lot of good stuff in the film. Uh, of course, I conduct these videos in a way where it's like it's like uh, the assumption that the, whoever is watching has either both seen and not seen at the same time the movie I'm talking about. Um, of course, if it's a brand new film, maybe not too many people have seen this movie, but um, even then, I uh, I still want to just uh, uh, be uh, as spoiler-free as possible. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, let's have, of course, I'm going to be very specific about the movie I'm talking about and going in depth in it, which I have done at times with other movies. Um, <clears throat> but I love this movie. It's a great movie. I do think it's better than um, The French Connection, but The French Connection is excellent also. Um, yeah. There's nothing else to really say. Um, so... I'll uh, leave you with that. Uh, have you seen the movie? If you have, do you enjoy it? Do you dislike it? Have you been curious about watching it but just haven't yet? Um, if you want to leave a comment, you can. And if not, that's fine too. Anyway, I hope you'll, uh, you'll have a great day. hope you'll have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time.